The music news for the streets, the music news for your beats, the news for the music stuff that you gonna need. We gon' talk about plugins, we gon' talk about gear. If it's news on this music, we gon' talk about it here. Let's go. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick demonstration over Synthesizer V by Dream Tonics. What is Synthesizer V, you may ask? Well, it might be the dopest vocal synthesizer out. Um, there is a free and a paid version of this synthesizer, and I'm surprised I'm just kind of now finding out about it. Um, I want to send a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Dream Tonics. No worry though, guys, they have no bearing over anything I'm gonna say at all in this video. Matter of fact, they're not gonna see this video until you see this video. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here at Synthesizer V. Uh, when you open it up, it is not gonna necessarily look like this when you open it up because this is kind of um, what I'm working on in this project. Um, but you see, it's kind of like its own little workstation. It's kind of a little small DAW um, and you can use in a DAW. If you're using the free version though, you cannot use this as a VST plugin. It will only be standalone. Um, but with this, basically um, it is AI voices um, that you can basically program the words in and you can get them to sing whatever it is that you want them to sing. Um, so they'll sing songs for you, choruses for you. Um, you can use this for a whole bunch of things. Um, if you're making house music, I think that this would be very fire for house music, um, you know, for your vocals and that, or really whatever it is that you want to put it in. Um, you can also use this as a tool to generate ideas. So if you're going to, you know, be a producer and you don't have the singer yet, um, you could put all the vocals down in this and you can kind of get, you know, the melodies and everything it is um, that you want to get going. There's a lot of cool features in this. Um, in today's video, it's not going to be an overview of the plugin. Um, it's basically going to be what I think is solid about the plugin. Uh, some of the things that I use, we're going to go through a few of the voices that I have and some of the controls and everything like that in the plugin. Um, I made a little sample beat as always um, using this plugin. Um, so basically, um, I used two different voices and kind of used one for the chorus and then one kind of just for the start of the verse. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. You absolutely cannot give me a tool like this because I am a big kid and my black ass is going to make something ignorant with a, with a, with a tool like this. So um, this isn't all the way mixed down, but let's go. All right, guys, that's the sample little beat that I put together today for you guys. I already know I'm a big kid. You ain't got to tell me. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop to the website first so I can kind of explain this to you guys a little better and show you guys some cool things about it. Um, so with this, like I was saying earlier, they have the basic edition, which is free. Um, they also have the pro edition over here. So with the basic edition, you're going to get up to three tracks. Um, you're going to get default configuration only on the AI pitch generation. And then you can only render up to two times basically per project. Um, when you're looking here at the pro version, though, um, you will see here that you're going to get unlimited project tracks. Um, the AI pitch generation is customizable. There's no limits on rendering. Um, you know, you're going to get VST3 and AU plugins. I'm currently using this on Mac, so it does work fine on the Mac. Um, and then as you see here, you're going to get cross-lingual synthesis. Um, so one thing that's cool about this is that there's all kinds of different voices and they sing in different languages like English, Mandarin and stuff like that. Um, you get AI retakes so that you can make it retake basically that AI sample in there to make it sound a little bit cleaner. Um, you're going to get isolated aspiration output, vocal modes, tone shift parameters, a microtonal adjustment, MIDI keyboard support and metronome. And then you're going to get Java uh, script scripting. Um, but I wanted to bring you guys over here next because you're not going to get all these voices here in the paid version. You have to pay for each one of these voices separately. 
Um, each one of the voices, I believe, is somewhere between $89 and $99. Um, so, you know, it's not that bad of a pricing when you're considering you can use the voices forever. Um, and they are copyright free. Um, so in the terms of their agreement, you are allowed to get paid using all these voices. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, you don't owe them anything. Um, they just don't want you to miscredit the name. So you can't use one of these and name it something else, but you don't have to credit the name in your songs if you don't want to. All right, guys, so that's some of the vocals that you can get, but let's go ahead and hop back into FL Studio and check out Synthesizer V more in action. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up this project that I was working with. Um, so with this, um, what's pretty cool about this is that, you know, you can check out your sound by pushing play right here. I love your mama and she loves but you can control everything that you want to listen to in this um, plugin, in the plugin. So boom, I can rewind it right here and I can listen to it and check it out here too as well. I love your mama and she loves me too. And you know we don't do that. So that's pretty cool. That's what the vocal sounded like dry. I'm just going to let you guys hear what it sounded like um, with some effects on there. Um, so the only effects I threw on here was a reverb, a delay. I didn't throw any EQ, compression, anything else on there. And this is kind of what it sounded like with those effects on there. I love your mama and she loves me too. And you know we don't do the things that we do. <laughs> y'all aren't gonna tell me that's not a fire chorus though. I might have, let me know below in the comments if y'all think I should make a track out of this. <laughs> let me know if anybody wants to get on the track and we can collab. Um, but with this, it's pretty cool because you can do a whole lot of dope stuff. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to open up a brand new project and we're going to start from scratch so I can kind of show you guys everything from scratch. So I've opened up a new project that you guys can see, open up a new project here in Synthesizer V. Um, it's going to look like this when you open it up. So we're just going to go ahead and expand this out just a little bit. Boom. We'll go ahead and drag this over here like this. Um, one thing that I didn't mention earlier is that you can basically sequence in this piano roll down here the whole song. So you can draw out the whole song with your singer in this and it'll all match up um, with, you know what I'm saying, your channel rack or your piano roll in FL Studio. Um, so, you know, you can basically program your whole song in here, you know, as many bars as you want, 80 bars, or however many bars it is. Um, but basically to get it started, you're gonna come right here. We've got no default voice. So we're gonna add a voice in here. We're just gonna start with Natalie. Um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and draw some notes in here. Um, so boom, uh, let's just draw a few laws in here just so that we can uh, kind of demonstrate some stuff. And as you guys see, as I'm drawing the notes in here, um, I can either push play up here. And so this is gonna go as long as the channel rack is going. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on using this in here. So if we click here, we'll get a little play menu and everything. Um, if we click up here, we'll get a little play menu. You can push repeat right here if you want to. And then you can pick the sections in which you want to repeat. Um, and then you can push play. La, 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 la. So now you get a bunch of options over here that you can do to mess with the voice. And that's what kind of makes this thing pretty solid too as well. So boom, I can hit this right here. Um, and then I can change the expressiveness or the enhancement um, of the vocal take. Or I can change it in single notes. But we're going to just mess with the global functions right here. So I'm just gonna push play and then I'm gonna turn the expressiveness up and then I'm gonna turn it down so you can hear it. Uh, la, 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 la. So you can hear it is a little more expressive. It makes it sound a little more realistic the more you have it up. But I'll go ahead and start with it down and then I'll, I'll go up with it. Uh, And then you also have enhancement right here, so we can turn that up or we can turn that down too as well. La, 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 la. So you can hear more vibrato in her voice as I'm messing with that um, enhancement, which is pretty solid. Um, and you can push this right here and it'll generate a new take for you. So boom, it uh, changed that take right there for us just a little bit. Um, you're probably not gonna be able to hear the difference, but it, you can change the takes and how the performance sounds in each one of these. Um, so you can push this right here too, and you're gonna get more options right here. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll push play one more time. Uh, la, la, la. 
so it's a nice feature. Um, you can bring up another menu and you can keep bringing up menus, but once you click off this, boom, it'll shut down whatever menu that you had. So if you see that it's green, that's the menu that's open. Um, they've got sing, they've got rap, um, and they've got like different stuff here too. I don't know if I really mess with the rap like that, but I'm gonna let you guys hear it and see what it sounds like. So let me go ahead and push play. La, 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 la. And then, um, you know, we'll go back to sing mode. Um, but they also have uh, different things that you can mess with over here, like vibrato modulation. So let's go ahead and just turn this up and down. La, 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 la. And so with this one, it's whatever you click on. So you see, I click on something else and it made the vibrato modulation go back down. Um, so that's going to go by individual notes on this one. Um, and then you have note offset too as well. So you can put this on, boom, and it'll offset the notes for you. So you see how it's making the log come in a little bit earlier as it as I have it offset negative, and then it's making it come in a little bit late as I have the offset, um, you know, same positive. So what's nice about this is it's really easy to come in here and to kind of program words in here and get what you want. So like, let's say I have a word right here. Um, we're gonna type in something. And the reason I'm gonna type in something is because this is what I use for the track. And I didn't type something and it figured out to something for me uh, because you can uh, kind of pick out um, how it pronounces things. So let's go ahead and go back here and check this out. Dum, sum, la, dum, sum, la. So now if we were to come back here into music and you see down here, um, it's basically saying it how we wanted to, something, something. So it figures it out for you, which is pretty nice. Um, and you can control the actual expression of each letter, um, which is solid too. So like, I'm gonna push play, and then we're gonna mess with some of these and see how we can get it to sound. Uh, but let's go ahead and come over here and push play. Dum, sum, la. So now like, let's say I turn down this S a little bit, cause we wanna change the way it sounds. Uh -huh. Dum, sum, la. So it basically changes the way it sounds. So we're gonna change the duration and then you can change the strength of it too. Um, so let's go ahead and go back down here. So let's change the strength of both of those uh, S's and bring those down just a little bit. And now once we push play. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. So you can hear it's not as aggressive as it was, as it was when I had it like this. Dum, dum, la, dum, dum, la, dum, dum, la, dum. So that's pretty cool. And then you can mess with all these. So, you know, you can make some things more stressed, some things uh, less stressed. Um, so I'm just turning these up at random um, and we'll just see how they sound. Dum, dum, la, dum, dum, la. All right, so something I should have showed you guys at the beginning is if you come over here into this mic area, you get a lot of controls over here. Um, so you're gonna get control over like the vocal mode, um, whether you want it to be soft, soulful, steady, bold, warm. So it kind of just changes the way that the voice is gonna sound. And then you have parameters over here where you can change like the loudness, the tension, the breathiness, the gender, all that stuff to make the vocal sound a little bit different. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and mess with this just a little bit so you can kind of hear some of the stuff that you can get with these um, different controls over here. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum. So you see how it's changing it a lot with that softness. We'll go ahead and take the soft down again. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. So that's fire. And then you can add a little bit of soul to it if you want to. You can add a little bit of breathiness. So I'm gonna add a little breathiness first because uh, it sounds good on this vocal. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum. And then you can add things like soulful. So let's go ahead and. Dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. 
And I'm just gonna go through some of these dials. Um, so like tension, um, and then I'm gonna go through like bold, steady, warm, and all that stuff so you can hear it. Dum, dum, la. 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 Dum, dum. So you can see I can change that a lot. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of warmth to it too as well. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. All right, down here, uh, we have loudness, tension, breathiness, gender, and tone shift. Um, so let's go ahead and mess with this tone shift just a little bit. Um, it's not gonna, you, you do have like a, a feature for like format shaping, but this isn't that feature right here. Um, this is just gonna change the tone a little bit. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. Dum, dum, la. So those are all cool features, just some things that you should know. Um, like, let's say you have um, something over here and you have a word. Um, like, let's say you have something like, um, I don't know, we'll say shallow, since I keep having this thing say uh, something, something, right? So like, let's say you wanna play this, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and take this over here. I mean, you push play. Shallow, shallow. All right, so, um, you know, it's kinda long, long the way that it's playing. What you can do is you can just basically come over here and you can add another track, um, and then you can cut that word in half. Um, and it's gonna basically change the way that the word is pronounced. Um, so we'll just leave it like this. And then we'll add the low um, right here. Boom, and then this is what it'll sound like, um, you know what I'm saying, as you change it around. So that's pretty cool. You can chop up words and things differently. Um, depending on how you put, how you're programming all this stuff in, um, the more you use it, the better you'll get with programming stuff in to get those, the, the words to sing them the way that you want them to sing them. Like if you remember on that first track I had, matter of fact, I'll pull it back up again. Um, so let's go ahead and pull that first track up. So then you'll see here how I have the words programmed in um, with everything like right here. Um, you can see that it's why it chops up these vocals and makes them come all fast right here and just makes them kind of sound pretty solid. I love your mama and she loves me too. So that's pretty solid there in itself. Um, another feature that I wanna show you guys that's pretty cool about this thing. So if I was to, uh, we'll just clone this real quick. If we open this up, um, what we can do, which is a pretty solid feature in this thing, is that we can actually add chords in. Um, so we can import um, whatever it is that we want to. So we can import some MIDI. So let's go ahead and find the MIDI for this track. Um, I can come down here and I can import a MIDI in here. Um, and then once I import the MIDI in here, um, boom, now you have all the stuff down here and you can draw your notes in, you know, if you're in key, um, you basically know how everything's going because you have the MIDI here um, to make sure that you're in key with the song. So that's also a very solid feature with this thing as well. With this as well, you can export just the vocal out if you want to. So you can export that out and use it how you want to use it and chop it up. Um, you know, you've got different edit controls here. Um, different view modes, so you can snap, you know what I'm saying, um, off the grid, on the grid, um, eighth quarter, all that stuff. You got different tools that you can use. Um, you know, you can modify all kinds of stuff. So you're getting all of this stuff right here um, into the actual, the plugin, which is very solid. You know, you're basically getting like a lot of DAW um, type functionality just in the plugin, just a very, a very solid plugin. Um, another thing that you can do too is that you can draw on the actual um, 
the actual performance. So like, let's say you don't like the way that this is sounding right here, like with the vibrato and how the voices, the tension and everything with the voice, um, you can come over here to your pencil um, and then, you know, basically you can come right here and then you can draw and you can change that the way that it's gonna play. You see how I just drew that real quick. I love your mama and she loves me too. But you can basically draw in this and change the way that the vocal performance is gonna sound. Um, you know, pretty simply. I love your mama and she loves me too. And you <laughs> oh, that's fire. But then, you know, it's really simple, you know, to get it to come back, boom, you know, boom. If you get two out there, you know, you can change it. But, you know, it basically is gonna change how it's going, your performance is gonna be, how the pitch in your performance is going to actually be, uh, which is solid. You know, <laughs> so you can do a whole lot with this plugin. Um, I think this thing is really fire. Uh, let me show you guys one more thing that you can do too. All right, so if you remember before how Natalie's voice sounded, it basically sounded like this. I need a little zum zum, zum zum. I need a little zum. But you can do cool stuff with this. Like you can put like uh, a little filter on here. So basically um, I filtered up the voice a little bit and it sounds like this. I need so that would sound good and like some EDM music, some house music, then put a little bit of distortion on there. So it just sounds pretty solid. We'll take the EQ off and listen to what it sounds like. So what's my final opinions on this plugin? I'm not even gonna hold y'all, honestly. I think that this might be the most fire vocal synthesizer out there because of all the control that you get, all the details that you can control. Um, I only barely scratched the surface with this thing. Um, there is a bunch of full in-depth tutorials online that you guys can actually check out and get more information on this thing. As you guys can see, I was having the time of my life creating. Um, if you're somebody like me who can't sing, uh, but you like obviously, you know, somebody to sing in your tracks or something like that, or if you need some kind of vocal reference to send somebody else, this is the absolute perfect plugin to grab. There is a free version of this thing again, so you can check it out, you can demo it, you can see if it's something that you wanna grab. If it is, you can grab it. If it's not, no harm, no foul but I think that this thing is dope. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some. Hit the key.